But to I think hear you'd be doing things at the same time. NBC dropping former RNC chair Ronna McDaniel as a paid contributor. The move comes less than a week after her hiring was announced. Hmm. And Ron McDaniel reportedly exploring other legal options after finding out about the termination through media reports. Lucas Tomlinson joins us live from D.C. with more. Lucas, fill us in. Good morning, guys. It appears the entire NBC network was against McDaniel's hiring. Many anchors sounding off in lockstep, including President Biden's former press secretary. When NBC made the decision to give her NBC News' credibility, you got to ask yourself, what does she bring NBC News. This is about truth versus lies. Ronna McDaniel has been a major peddler of the big lie. But we've also said to election deniers is not just they can do that on our airwaves, but that they can do that as one of us, as paid contributors to our sacred airwaves. I find the decision to put her on the payroll ex inexplicable, and I, and I hope they will reverse their decision. Jen Psaki also warned democracy was in danger after McDaniel was hired. Last night on Special Report, Hugh Hewitt predicted McDaniel will sue NBC for breach of contract and intentional infliction of mental distress, he said. The chairman of NBC Universal issued a mea culpa while announcing the termination of McDaniel. Quote, no organization, particularly a newsroom, can succeed unless it is a cohesive and aligned. Over the last few days, it has become clear that this appointment undermines that goal. I want to personally apologize to our team members who felt we let them down. While this was a collective recommendation by some members of our leadership team, I approved it and take full responsibility for it. So there you have it, guys. The network appeared completely aligned against hiring Ronna McDaniel. Daniel, which, Steve, is a big contrast to when Marie Harf was hired here at Fox. Remember your nice, warm welcome. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, we also hired Donna Brazil at Fox. We've got all the voices. But thank you very much, Lucas. Thanks, but Lucas. What, what it shows to a lot of people, if you, if you want all the news, are you, are you going to be, are you thinking, okay, if I go over to NBC or MSNBC, am I going to get uh, the political viewpoint of people who are conservative or Republican or supporters of Trump? Given what has happened over the last 48 hours, you got to wonder. Yeah, I just can't believe the Nicole, the Nicole Wallace quote where she said, uh, you can't be one of us with our badge and be on our sacred airways. Do you know how pretentious that sounds? Mm -hmm. In every way, I did find it fascinating that you can uh, decide what management should have done and mm -hmm. criticize them. Your boss. And then still have a job. Mm -hmm. but because, I mean, you could have an opinion, but that's maybe for the water cooler. That's right. And that could, that could be problematic. I don't care. Imagine being in a small restaurant. You don't like the drink menu, and you go, okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'm either going to take my apron off or I'm going to keep serving the drinks. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to decide. There's people that hire you, but I guess it's okay because they apologize. So mm -hmm. I guess Chuck Todd will be interviewing other contributors throughout the week. But, Brian, at its core, <laughs> I hope that it's a message to Republicans that no matter what you do, it will be never enough until you say that you're never Trump. That, that is the red line for the people there because Ronna McDaniel, as you saw in the interview, changed her position on some things, tried to be a little bit more palatable yeah. for NBC, but it was never enough. And she was asked to apologize to the country on air. But they never asked any of the Democrats that objected. You got Jim McGovern, who objected to the Alabama votes. Jamie Raskin objected to the Florida votes. Uh, uh, Jayapal objected to the Georgia votes. So when they're brought on NBC, are they asked right. to apologize to the country? It's just such a double standard well, Laura, when it comes to the liberal opinion that. versus Republican opinion. For four opinion. years, Hillary Clinton said, that Donald Trump's an illegitimate president, and he knows it. Mm -hmm. They yes. all said the Russian Stacey situation, Abrams. the laptop. Yes. So why do you let someone on the air who said the laptop was fake? Have you had, do you still have uh, John Brennan on the air, yeah. who was one of the 51 intel agents that this is classic right. Russian disinformation? Well, you know, all the people who on their air spoke out were MSNBC or NBC uh, paid political commentators. Uh, I quoted this uh, semaphore item today where it talks about how the actual journalists mm -hmm. at NBC have to pick up the pieces, essentially, for the decision by management to hire and then fire her because they're in the business of just trying to objectively gather the news. But if you fire somebody simply because of the ideology that you hired them for, yeah. then suddenly their job as a actual journalist out in the field gathering the news becomes very complicated. Well, well Steve, and, 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 I, and I, I agree with that point, and I would have loved to hear those voices also speak up and say, hey, 
I agree with management yeah, that we need a balanced voice. I don't think the reporters would ever do that. Well, you know, the, all the people that were on air claimed that they were reporters and claimed that they were protecting Chuck Todd journalism. was a journalist. Yeah. Didn't he say so, journalist? So why not those voices? Kristen also, Welker. Also, and I said this earlier in the show, I hate when family business is just aired out for the public. What terrible colleagues they are. When we have disputes and every business, every family has disputes, you never bring the audience into that. You handle that behind closed doors, you talk as a family, and you come out at, at, with a unified front. Apparently, these people can't do that. I wouldn't trust any one of them uh, to work with them on a day-to-day -day basis if they conduct themselves this way. And, and now, she did nothing wrong. She gets her contract terminated, and her agency has dropped yeah. her. She was the same person when, you, when she got the $300,000 contract mm -hmm. for NBC, and then they decide they don't want her, and CA goes, okay, you're done. Well, yeah. she is yeah. shopping around for lawyers, luring up, and uh, there could be a big NBC lawsuit well, here's, that they're going to have to deal here's with. Here's the big question, so stay tuned. Yep. Who now would hire her? That's because, you, you, you know, one of the other channels, and eh, look at the backlash. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it worth it? Yep. Well, well the, it's worth it if you want her point of well, view. Well, it was stay reported tuned. that when this was going on, CNN was in talks as well. Well, maybe uh, they And then she went with NBC, right. so we'll see. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.